Howard Rose, uh, DeepStream uh, VR, uh, going to solve the issue of pain using VR. Okay. Oops. We're back. You like this? this is okay. Hi, I'm Howard Rose. I'm the CEO of DeepStream VR. And we're bringing uh, VR applications to the healthcare market for a wide variety of, uh, of conditions. We're also building an AI engine called NeuroVR that is going to drive the VR applications of the future. So uh, the, the newspapers today are full of the crisis in healthcare, and business as usual is just not working. But what are we going to do? What if we could tap into your brain? to make you healthier, to, to use your vast underutilized potential to be healthy on your own without drugs? And what would this nation look like if we could transform people from passive health consumers to active health producers? So alternative. I've been working in virtual reality for over 20 years. We've built applications for helping uh, uh, soldiers returning from the battlefield deal with PTSD. We've built applications for uh, changing lifestyle and, and health habits. And we've built iconic games like Snow World uh, that, are, that have helped relieve pain for hundreds of patients in clinical studies. So uh, this is what we've learned. I'd like to show you a snapshot of the brain, of what your brain looks like when you are dealing with pain and stress. First of all, without VR, what we see is the regions of the brain that are are related to visceral sensing and your body map are very active. There's a lot of pain signals flying around and a, and a whole lot of activity on emotional negative uh, components. Uh, this is a hot mess. And VR uh, changes that picture dramatically. So first of all, we have less activity uh, in those negative areas. And look at this. Parts of your brain are coming alive. These parts of your brain that are associated with positive coping and resilience and cognitive processing. Now, the magnitude of that effect is huge. That is huge in neuroscience. And this is a great opportunity. So VR gives you the widest channel into your brain that there is. And we're using VR's channels to help your superpowers. First of all, immersion. Now, immersion transports your body your, your, your mind into the virtual experience. And VR helps you relax and downregulate, downregulate to reduce anxiety. VR is, is interactive, which activates our creative inner self. Um, the research shows that interactive VR is a lot more effective than, than passive media. VR can be intensely focused, and it engages mental strategies and resilience for a lasting effect. And it's multi-sensory, which enables uh, different kinds of learning and memory. So these are the mechanisms of action of VR that we can manipulate to make you healthier. And we're building applications to do that. So we're taking all of our experience, 20 years plus of experience in research, and building effective products like Cool. And we're bringing these products to hospitals and clinics today. So, uh, and COOL is, is uh, to help uh, patients deal with pain, and it is being used in hospitals, um, and patients are experiencing a lot of benefit from it. Uh, even patients like this, uh, Matt was a, a veteran of Desert Storm, and he's dealt with neuro neuropathic pain and uh, opioids for many years, and this is the experience that he's had. Uh, so we're building an AI engine. It's called NeuroVR Platform. This is how we're going to build the ecosystem. E just building applications is not enough. How do we build the ecosystem for an entire, uh, an entire world of VR applications that will uh, disrupt business as usual? So uh, NeuroVR, uh, the key is to use biosensors to create a tight, closed feedback loop between your brain and the virtual world. And then we can manipulate and modulate that experience to maximize the health out outcomes. We're building these applications to establish the market and also channels for future products. The data generated from these applications feeds our NeuroVR brain. And that data is biosensors and user activity 
and also devices. And the brain uh, analyzes that data in real time and then applies strategies to maximize your outcomes and personalize it for you. And then we go to scale as a business by taking that high value data and sharing it with patients and doctors. So uh, our business has revenue sources. Uh, we're selling now um, to healthcare applications, to, to large systems, and white label products, direct consumer sales, and we're generating uh, in the future uh, income from NeuroVR. I think These you're are the people the, that we work with. I think you're getting the hook from the, uh, from, the, from, the, from the control room. I think you're out of time, so okay. maybe, I don't know if we, we, can, we can ask you questions and... Uh, Okay. Or if you have anything, one, one short thing you wanted to uh, add. The, the last thing I'd say is that uh, our team is very experienced. We have uh, long experience in VR and AI and uh, the uh, capacity to deliver this. I'd just like to invite you to come and see. Uh, That's great. Yeah, I went by your booth yesterday. Very cool. Thank you.